Have you ever just felt alone? Felt like maybe God wasn't listening or that he had forgotten about you? There's many reasons why this happens, but for most people, it usually happens when life around us has consumed so much of our time and emotion that we're actually the ones who have forgotten God. Of course, we remember him now when we're feeling depressed or in need, but what about before we got to that point? Now, if you're anything like me, there's few things you dislike more than someone pointing out what you did wrong when you're only looking for a solution. You know the people, the ones who say, you shouldn't have spent so much time on your phone or at work or whatever. Most of the time we want to look at those people and go, uh, no duh, I don't need you to point out all the things that I did wrong. I need to know how to get out of this funk. Or maybe you have that sweet friend that will sit you down and remind you of verse 6 in Deuteronomy 31 that says, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid and panic. He'll never fail you or abandon you. And maybe that does it for you. Maybe that's all you needed to snap out of it. But what about those times when you're so far down the rabbit hole that it feels like your chest is caving in under the weight of life's problems? When people's encouraging words just sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. Yes, ma'am. The noise of the world is just so loud that you can't seem to think straight. Where do you find encouragement? Where do you find the Lord? How are we supposed to hear his voice in these moments? Well, the answer is actually right in front of us. Listen to what it says in Psalms 19 verses one through six. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard. Yet their message has gone throughout the earth and their words to all the world. God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. So I just need to go outside? Could that? be the answer? Could it be that simple? Well, no, not always. You're not just going to walk outside and feel the sun on your face and all life's problems are going to melt away. That's not what it's saying. But it is saying that God's creation is one of the biggest ways he speaks to us and encourages us. Day and night, rain or shine, he is speaking universally to the world through his creation. So we may not always just be able to step outside and have our problem solved, but his creation is always there to remind us that we are not alone. He is here with us, speaking to us. He loves us. And if he can create all of the heavens and the earth, he can certainly help you through whatever it is you're going through. Sometimes we just need to spend some time allowing the creator of the universe to speak to us through his beautiful creation. Mm -hmm.